That brings us to um, item number 12, which is our public participation. And I will tell you that I'm going to read from our board policy that the board encourages the citizens of the community to appear and bring before the board any matter directed toward the improvement of the school system and the agenda of the board. The policy provides for any individual or group to be heard on a subject pertaining to the policies or administration of the school system. And in, out of our agenda tonight, we respectfully ask that you adhere to the procedures and decorum provided in board policy, BEDH, public participation at meetings. Your comments will be limited to three minutes. Dr. Harris will keep time. Dr. Harris, would you raise your hand? Yes. And he will give you a time when time is running, coming down. Questions asked during public participation we handle in accordance with board policy, BEDH. I'll also tell you that asking questions that would in inappropriately identify a student or family will not be addressed. Matters pertaining to protected personnel records will also not be addressed. <clears throat> asking questions that suggest illegal or unethical activity of a district employee or board member will not be addressed and will be considered inappropriate. Lastly, I will say that <clears throat> the, the um, no personal attacks on a board member, a district employee, or other member of the public will be allowed. So with that, we have some folks or a person signed up tonight, and we'll hear from first Ms. Or the only person signed up is Ms. Huffsteller. Ms. Huffsteller. First, I want to comment that on the... Um, your board packets and the agenda, the lawsuit has a wrong number. It is 2013CP400-01897. And I went to that site, the Richland County site, and I looked at the documents. I have some questions. To sue a board member for $10 million, Actually, it says District 5 is asking for a judgment from court for actual damages against Kim Murphy in an amount exceeding $10 million. Who has that type of money? A school district has $40 million in, the general, in, in that fund. You've got $40 million. You've, you've borrowed $10 million. Um, why would a school district vote to go ahead with a lawsuit that would financially devastate and ruin a former board member and t concerned taxpayer. Um, in our eyes, in the taxpayer's eyes, it looks like any vote forward would be not financially responsible with our tax money. This is our tax money that we are, you are using for this. So I'm going to say to go financially forward with this lawsuit would be a drastic and total irresponsible use and waste of our hard-earned tax money. Bullying is a problem in our schools. To the outsider and to someone sees someone who sees that a district is suing for ten, over 10 million from a former board member and concerned taxpayer, that may look like bullying. Thank you. Ms. Huffstead, there are two correct one of the items. The board is not suing. The board was sued. The board is countersuing. So there's a big difference there. So that concludes our public participation and brings us to our action item, action agenda, 